Hey, hey. What's up, everyone? Uh, echo problem. Hello. Yeah, Satarshi. We can hear you. All right, let, let's give it one more minute for more people to join in. Hello, Atta. How are you? Hey, good, good. How are you? I am doing good as of now, by the grace of God. Great. All right, we have Algali, Loud. Who's the, the person with the Hebrew name? Uh, it's Menashe, and it, actually it's the Hebrew name is my wife's name, so I need to change it. Oh, um, <laughs> no problem. The IPF team. No problem. I, are you in our Slack? Sorry? Are you in our Slack? In what? In Slack? Yes. Yes? Oh, what's your username there? It's supposed to be Menashe. Menashe? I'll try after the call to see. Oh, Menashe is software, right? Right. Got it. So you're a part of the pulmonary disease team. I'm trying at least. <laughs> <laughs> Great. No, yeah, I, I enjoyed your diagram of, of things. Um, all right, guys, so let's kick it off. Um, thanks, everyone, for joining in. Um, I'll, I'll pass the mic off to uh, Shivan Ghani. Uh, she, um, she'll try to uh, run these meetings and hopefully lend a hand uh, with organizing these um, as you know I'm severely overwhelmed with them but I'll be here to jump in if needed and yeah let's let's see if um, if we can go through the daily progress doc um, the one that we've just um, created a couple of days ago and see if we can get some um, some routine check-ins and figure out a process to help people where where needed and resolve the blockers. Um, so maybe I'll, I'll actually share a screen and I'll let Shivangani guide this. Shivangani, you're muted? Yeah, 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 I'm new. All right, so I've seen some people adding stuff to it, so maybe we can go through um, uh, through the the list of teams on the previous day and kind of just get the check in. Um, Shangani. Yeah. Do you want to go through a list uh, one by one? Um, yeah, uh, initially I think we should, you know, discuss on the structure of this uh, new uh, uh, sheet uh, as mentioned in the agenda of the meeting. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Sorry, I just jumped straight in. Yeah. Uh, so, hi everyone. This is Shivangani. So, uh, Basically, you know, creating this sheet, the purpose behind it is so because we are having daily updates and daily meetings uh, almost in the teams. So the purpose behind this is to, you know, keep a track of what is happening in all the teams. So it will be easy for basically the leaders and the coordinators, to, you know, uh, get on the track easily that this uh, particular every day, what is happening in which team and, you know, they can just go through it and get a quick uh, update of uh, what is happening and what what is being progressed uh, where all you know we need to work on and uh, maybe uh, just a status update that i'm thinking of putting it uh, on a friday call only so that for 
whole week what all has happened and are we able to meet are the uh, meet the criteria for that week or not or do we need to push it for the next next week as well so after that is just a suggestion you know if we can include that in the friday call basically so that it will be easy for the you know what all has happened in the whole week so it will be like uh, maybe the item will get closed or it will be carry forwarded in next week so do you want to provide some inputs on this auto sorry i was muted yeah i think that's a great idea um not not sure if we can put like any due dates to stuff since uh, you know everyone's a volunteer but um, I think it's a good idea to kind of plan these sprints um, and maybe for some teams it's a week for some teams it's two weeks so for some teams it can be months if if it's a you know a very broad sprint but I yeah I like the idea Sorry to interrupt you, but like, you know, you mentioned in team task time series that, uh, you know, we need people skilled with the uh, PyTorch to help it backlog. So for these kind of tasks, we can keep a new date because that will be easy for us to complete that particular kind of task. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. So, uh, this is the, you know, the basic idea of uh, preparing this sheet and organizing it. And, you know, I would love to hear suggestions from all of you. If you uh, need any sort of, you know, any more columns to be added or anything needs to be changed in this. So I would love to hear from you all. So. I think we're good with the, the current structure, um, unless anyone jumps in. Okay, so should we start with the team updates then? Yep, let's do it. Okay, uh, I think Arthur, you can start you know, and, and continue accordingly. Okay, so, so here's how I would do it here. I would just copy and paste this and um, basically inquire if we have someone from the, the current uh, pulmonary disease team and we have Menashe. So maybe um, uh, he can give us a, a quick update. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, we had a discussion two days ago. Um, so I uh, want to uh, try uh, some way which is called simply uh, basically a neural network <clears throat> architecture that worked for some things. And basically I and, and, and uh, Sequinder are trying to ramp up on it. Personally, I just uh, downloaded it, tried to run it uh, to invoke this simpler framework, uh, very demanding in terms of uh, computer resources, so I'm a little bit concerned. This is the status. We are trying to ramp up and make this framework work. Got it. And I think Sergey just posted something this morning, so maybe uh, Shivangani, you'll be able to to add updates um, here after this call. Um, okay. Hopefully, Sergey will be able to to join these calls. But if not, we can always get into the channel and kind of like uh, assemble the latest update. So yeah. let's have Shivangani to uh, assemble latest report from the channel call. Oh. All right. Let's go to, to the next one. Do we have Isaac here? Yep, we do. Um, so as we discussed yesterday, we need people uh, scaled with PyTorch to help with the backlog. Um, not sure if you, Isaac, had a chance to create the top three priority tasks that we can start pushing to people. Um, I mean, 
yeah i have i have some of those i just need to uh yeah uh, i'll just post and link them to the document and stuff uh um or link to like yeah a, pa a page with them um so yeah yeah i'll get i'll get those um also yeah that's that's the main thing i'll do and then uh, yeah i've been facing some issues integrating the metadata, but I'm working with the, actually the people at Weights and Biases to solve those. Um, so yeah, and oh yeah, we're having a team meeting today at um, two at two p.m. Eastern time, so about an hour after the uh, an hour and fifteen minutes from now if anyone wants to jump on that. So great, thank you. All right, so next team, uh, COVID questions. Um, is Matan here on, on the call? Uh, I don't think so. So yesterday we discussed um, that there's still ongoing work with uploading questions to the Kano. I think the team has solved it. Uh, need to double check on that. Do we have anyone here that knows? So I can do a quick update. Go ahead. Uh, but I'm not sure it was for today because I know that Matan uh, created, so he asked Maxim to create a dedicated Dekana kind of instance for him without all of the issues that Matan had yesterday. And so far I haven't heard that he had any issues with it. Got it. So hopefully uh, we got those questions uploaded. So wait, we'll wait for an update from a ton. If you're listening to this call uh, after, just fill in the update on your side. And the next is team literature review. So I actually have a very good update here. Uh, I just had a call with the infectious disease epidemiologist, Chloe Manchester, and she works at the University of Maine on uh, vaccines and disease prevention. And we scheduled a call with her for next Friday, 1 p.m. Pacific. Um, so we'll, we're gonna um, have a, a quick call, showcase what we have so far, and um, basically hear um, about what she thinks we should be doing to help uh, people like her, infectious disease epidemiologists. Uh, she's currently uh, tasked with uh, doing research for uh, vaccine rollout, um, obviously, as uh, CDC and other governmental agencies are pushing for the rollout uh, in November. And um, yeah, just an interesting connection. Uh, I keep pushing um, the messages to LinkedIn um, and to LinkedIn epidemiologists. So hopefully we will get even more um, of these calls in the coming weeks. I think we are done with the team updates for now. Uh, we also have, um, so we have these uh, teams that we haven't heard back uh, from and haven't had updates from. Maybe Yushiv and Gani can reach out to uh, Shrida as the coordinator of this team historical analysis and see if there's any update and just put it um, on here. I think, um, well, there, there was some great update from Malavika yesterday on contradictory claims. Um, not sure if they have any updates today. Um, probably not because they're waiting for um, annotations to come back from medical researchers. Um, task VT and uh, immunology. I know that Anton has been working on helping deploy the app. Um, Anton, is there an update here? Uh, so we, we get update from infrastructure and the things that we are close to the point of, of deploying what uh, Seed and Nicholas did. So we're moving in, in a good direction. But So we, we were able to deploy one piece, one component of, of the app that they did, the Django one. Now we, we're working on the front end piece of it. Great. All right. Uh, do you need any help? Maybe we can find someone to help you with the deployment. Uh, so, 
I guess it's probably on the seed uh, side of things. So what we're looking for somebody who has experience containerizing web apps. So Angular web apps. So if somebody has experience uh, containerizing the, the Angular app, again, whatever s simple Angular one will suffice here. So that will be helpful. Okay, so maybe uh, Sean Gunny, you'll be able to uh, to find people with the web development experience and the uh, DevOps experience. So those are yeah, yeah. two keywords yeah. to look for, and we yes. can reach out to to them, ask for for some help. Yes, definitely. Great. And all right. So what else? COVID misinformation. So um, I think we have Akash here on the call. And um, we, we have a, a very relevant uh, introduction that was offered to us from the, the researcher at NIST. Um, and he, uh, he can introduce us to National Press Foundation. Uh, what we needed is a one pager that is, it describes what the project is about. So I asked um, Brian Hill to create a uh, one pager about the project. He did that. So looks like an extensive overview, very good start. And um, maybe me and you, Shivangani, will work on putting this on the website so that uh, we can have the, the similar kind of um, page as we, as we have uh, here for the pulmonary disease project. So let's, let's touch base on that um, later today. Okay. So um, we need to put up one pager that Brian Hill created uh, to our website. Um, cool. Next one, Team DevOps. Um, I added this yesterday as we had an update from Anton. Um, we've seen some updates from, from you. Uh, so maybe there is something you, you want to share. Uh, hold on a second. I'm on mobile, so it... Oh, and we actually got Shrida uh, joining in. Uh, so maybe we can uh, take a second and ask Shrida if there is an update on the um, team historical analysis. Uh, there is no much update in the, uh, I mean, we have passed the Spanish flu uh, currently. Spanish flu and, uh, and do you guys uh, have any roadblocks or something that you need help with? Uh, actually, uh, the thing is, uh, everyone uh, are busy in the, some other uh, te uh, like team tasks. So, we don't have much volunteers in our task, so we Got currently. It. Play. It, but is there like an actual task that uh, someone can can do? Because we can uh, find plenty of people uh, that are just waiting for for tasks. Uh, yeah, there are a uh, lot of regex and lot of uh, automation tasks are there right now. We need uh, more people, so. Uh, what kind of people do you need? Uh, who are good at regex. Uh, we need some, uh, like we have the uh, data, but we need uh, pre-processing, like data cleaning stuff and all. Uh, the data is like more of uh, unwanted characters uh, because it is a old, old, old and, uh, older English. Like uh, we need a lot of uh, regex work for that. So... Who are, who, who are good in regex, they can help us. Good, so this is another uh, request. Maybe you can actually uh, write at like a two sentence or three sentence overview with a specific example of a, like a, a link to some data that needs to be processed so we can send it out to community and maybe someone can, can see how they can help. Could you, mm -hmm. could you do that? Okay, okay, I will do that. All right, so 
Frida will prepare a quick task to introduce new members to. Right. Okay, I have a quick need help for Team DevOps. Uh, so we're looking for people with experience, again, putting whatever code into containers. So feel free to, to pin me on Slack. We're starting to get a lot of tasks on that, on that end. You need help with containers? Yes. Okay, so DevOps. Yes. People. All right. Yeah, it looks like um, there are a lot of needs actually. So this is exciting because that means um, we can actually activate community members that um, are just, you know, uh, lost and overwhelmed where to help. Um, Shrida, there is Josimar and, um, and uh, maybe I can help with data cleaning. So that's a perfect fit um, to help out. And also, I would, I missed the, uh, this one, the, the team, team literature review NLP. Uh, this is the one that is kind of like taking on the, the task of organizing our current core 19 pipeline. Um, I feel like we actually need someone to help um, move things uh, and kind of coordinate the work. So maybe there is a, a volunteer here on the call or listening after the call that would like to help, um, need help with coordination, connecting the pieces together. Um, there's a lot of uh, data in there. Um, obviously we have the 25 gigabytes of the Core 19 that was enriched and we just need someone to, to help organize that, connect uh, different pieces to it and simply get through the, the clutter All right, and I think we're good. Uh, we still have five question, uh, five minutes for questions. Um, is anyone um, confused or uh, lost, or does anyone want to find a place to contribute? We have Kevin Lee um, coming back. Um, hope you're you're recovering from the accident and you're you're. Um, you know, in a, in a good state of mind and health, uh, but let us know if you would like to re-engage in, into one of the, the projects. Um, Is there a link for that um, Google spreadsheet? Uh, might have missed that link, because uh, I can view it on my own terms, I guess. Yep, um, I shared it in general. Okay. I can send it into your DM now. Um, I think uh, given your experience with the actual engrams and all of the uh, pieces related to NLP, it would be great to have you um, uh, join the team literature review NLP. Um, yeah, I'm helping out, or I've been in talks with Alex um, uh, on figuring out like the current pipeline on that aspect. So I have been working a little bit uh, with Alex and, and we've been trying to just tackling it and talking and spitting ideas with each other on what exactly um, to, to bring the pipeline up to speed, I guess. Great, sounds like a plan. Um, we have uh, Jack S89. Um, not sure what, what your real name is, but if you want to open a new project or group or integrate uh, an existing one to Corona Y, um, you're more than welcome. Um, do you have a microphone to tell us briefly about the project? Yes, can you hear me well? Yep. Yeah, actually, I, I was at the beginning and I, I made a proposal about to do a kind of text mining through Twitter, trying to analyze what is happening in social networks around COVID topic. So I was working on the topic during the, the months and I, uh, I'm work, working with awesome people from many countries and I need <laughs> many hands to analyze the data. Actually, we have so data the COVID from each country from South America, Latin America, Africa. And I don't know the context of each country, so I need help. And then Great. I was thinking if it's possible to. Uh, we actually are integrating the Twitter data in the COVID misinformation project. So um, what's your Slack username? I'm going to add you to. 
uh, Josimar or this Jex. Okay, perfect. Uh, so um, you can see the, the current work in progress. You can see the tool that um, Akash built. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, this is the Kibana dashboard where all of the Twitter data is integrated. And um, yeah, the, the areas are identifying the misinformation uh, networks and topic modeling on the text data and clustering of users based on topics. I think this will be a perfect uh, fit for you to jump in. And if you have any kind of existing documents or something you can share on the current work that you've been doing, that will be super helpful. Great, thank you. I'm going to do the, the questions there. Awesome. Yeah, it, it seems like we actually have members working on uh, many different initiatives and sometimes they're not um, aware that we're working on the same thing. So just um, the purpose of these calls is to get on the same page, synchronize and um, yeah, ask questions. So does anyone else have any questions? Arthur? I uh, did uh, send some uh, literature reviews uh, to you on uh, Spreadsheet. Uh, I'd, I'd want your feedback on those. I mean, are those useful? Yeah, I think those are useful and we need to think more about how do we integrate those into uh, the actual literature review tool. So I'm gonna quickly right. showcase. Um, so this is what Saptarshi sent to me and these are manual literature reviews that um, he has done. And um, we, we already kind of have a place where we centralize all, all of these manual reviews, but it's um, not integrated with the literature review tool or proof of concept. Um, so we can actually load them into this interface alongside other Kaggle um, questions. Um, but yeah, super useful. Um, unfortunately, I'm not able to assess the, the quality of, of them, but they look great. All right, all right. Because I worked at, I mean, worked on those along with the clinicians who are already at the forefront of this fight against COVID-19. And I asked them that, uh, what, what are their requirements? So basically, because of the dearth of time, they want to have a quick access to all this data. And what matters the most is the final outcome. So I have tried to take their views and try to mold it into my work and try to present it before all of you. So definitely any feedback is appreciated and uh, I've tried to incorporate necessary changes accordingly. Great. And maybe someone from the medical um, side of things will be um, uh, stumbling up upon this call. Actually, if you yes. can share that uh, literature review um, document in the team literature review interface, I think uh, there's a much higher chance someone will be able to provide more extensive feedback. Yes, yes, I, I, I'll be doing that. And I am already in touch with uh, Sid, uh, Siddharth Mitra and uh, mm -hmm. Akash regarding all these things. And we are, we are sharing information on various uh, updates on this particular issue. Yes. Great, sounds good. All right, guys, thanks everyone for, for jumping in today. Uh, hopefully we're reactivating this tradition of, of daily calls for more productive synchronization and uh, knowledge organization. Um, and also for, for me to showcase the Corona Y t-shirts. Um, so this is a, uh, this is a t-shirt that actually Andrea uh, produced back in May and um, we should probably reach out to her to, to get us some more to send out to the most active contributors. Um, and yeah, sounds good. Thanks everyone. Um, have a good day and have a great weekend. Thank you, bye-bye.